Welcome back to the Figure Kit Garage, fellow resin heads and kit builders. Brent Krug back with another video. The first, what will be the first of four, that's right, four out of the box reviews. Um, but before we get into the reviews, I want to take the time to personally thank George Stevenson of Blackheart Models, Steve Iverson of Cult TV Man, and Norbert Osner of Resin Maniacs. And the main reason why I want to say thank you is for putting together the Wantafest that replaced Louisville Wonderfest uh, this month due to the COVID-19 pandemic and the pitfalls of the social distancing, large crowds not being allowed to gather, and the whole nine yards. Having never been to a Louisville Wonderfest, uh, but wanted to go and couldn't because of either time or money or both, uh, it was really cool to be a part of this. I had a few entries in the model contest myself and was blown away by the response, I'm sure, as we all were, that the amount of people that turned out was unreal the amount of photos that we had to look through to figure out what we liked for figures, busts, dios, hardware and props, and spaceships was out of this world. I've only been to uh, the Amazing Monster Maker Contest at Monster Palooza and Imagination Expo in Vegas when it happened uh, 18 years ago and the level of turnout for this was crazy. Uh, it was great to have a lot of the dealers uh, putting their stuff out there for people to purchase. Uh, jumped on quite a few things from David Diaz, Angelo Valletta, uh, Cult TV Man, Arsenal Models, and got my name on the list for Typhon Studios, uh, Boris Karloff and Jack Pierce Tribute, which really blew my mind when they put the uh, finished photos of the final product or what should be the final product. They said they're going to tweak the chair a little bit and a few other things, but I definitely had to be in on that one because I'm never going to be able to get the Janus kit for probably anything less than about one to two thousand dollars depending on who's selling it. So getting in on that was a definite plus. Um, Watching the Model Club TV videos with Terry Webb, George Stevenson, Steve Iverson, Rob Madison, and Dan Colonna, and uh, the others that they had on the, uh, the live, uh, live discussions, that was a lot of fun to watch. Learning a lot of things uh, about Wonderfest that I've never known, and laughing at a lot of stuff that, you know, from their personal experiences... You know, the fun that they have there, it was, uh, it was pretty cool, pretty amazing to be a part of. Uh, I definitely want to wish everybody in the contest luck for their entries. Um, and we'll see what happens at the end of Wonderfest. And I know Wonderfest has been rescheduled for October, if I remember correctly. And it'll be interesting to see how that goes and whether or not Wonderfest will be a yearly thing. Uh, if it is, great. If not, if this is a one-shot deal, you know, come what may, let things happen the way they happen. So I just wanted to get that off my chest. Uh, Virginia also had a few entries in the contest. Uh, she was really surprised by everything and uh, the way that it went. And to get something like that done on such, you know, in such a short amount of time, uh, definitely got to take the hat off to the guys and ladies that were a part of making this happen because it was really wonderful. So to all of you out there that were a part of that, that made this car go, thank you. Thank you very much. And now I'm gonna switch this camera around and we're gonna get back to the reviews. And we're back here at the Figure Kit Garage with the first of the reviews that I'm gonna do tonight. And we're gonna start off with the pieces that I picked up from Arsenal Models. Uh, I've seen a lot of their stuff before on eBay, and if you haven't seen anything that they've had 
Uh, for those of you who have been to Wonderfest and look at their table, and I've seen a lot of their uh, stuff on video, um, they offer a little bit of everything. Pretty interesting stuff. Uh, props for movies like Judge Dredd, uh, Blade Runner, The Mummy, the Harry Potter films, uh, Robocop, uh, some of the Star Trek movies, as well as the television series, uh, Forbidden Planet, Lost in Space, a little bit of everything. They mostly specialize in uh, resin replica props from your favorite films or TV series. And these pieces that I bought, I bought them for Virginia. She wanted them when she saw them. And the first one we're going to start off with is a rather wonderful little character from the 1984 film The Never Ending Story. And here he is, the Rock Biter. The Rock Biter is one piece molded in a like a grayish brown colored resin. Nicely detailed, friendly Rock Biter. Going to make for some interesting dry brushing. He'll have to be scrubbed quite well. A little bit of mold release on him, but resin kits, that's a, that's a given, to say the least. Nice big smile on his face. Waving hello. Pretty cool. Got to admit that is actually pretty cool. Minor mold lines, really no air bubbles to speak of. Just the ever gentle rock biter. Biting rocks and biting his time. <laughs> Pretty cool. And the rock biter uh, from Arsenal Models was $19.99 with $14.90 shipping. And I got to admit, when I first bought this, I believe it was the first Friday or the first week that. Uh, People were actually selling on the Wintafest site or the Facebook page. I had this ordered on either Thursday or Friday, and I had this by Tuesday of the following week. So they got this shipped to me pretty damn quick. I got to give them all the credit in the world. They got it to me as fast as they possibly could. So definite high marks to Arsenal Models for getting that out. And the second piece, now this one came pre-finished. Um which the way they did this i'm really impressed with not just the casting but also the paint job as well if you know this then you definitely have seen the film this is the key to hominoptera from the 1999 brendan fraser the mummy and this thing is absolutely incredible it's about as close to being exact to the actual film prop as you can get with all, let me turn it right side up, with all the little hieroglyphs carved into the side. Go all the way around. This is actually pretty cool. This is, this is definitely the one she wanted more than anything else. And I told her, if I get you this, you cannot go chasing, you know, waking up mummies and thinking that you can control them. Her first response was, why not? because mummies are a headache. That's why. Painted in a metallic gold and very nicely weathered and detailed to look as if it's been sitting buried for several thousand years. And it's displayed fully open and there's no hidden compartment inside like what you see in the film. Just displayed fully open as what they use to unlock both the book as well as the mummy sarcophagus. Really cool. Nice, really, really nice paint job. That'd go good with a, uh, you know, even regular mummy kit or uh, the, plas the plastic mummy kit that came out in the 90s. Actually hang up pretty good next to that. Or if you can find the, uh, the book of the Black Book of the Dead from the film display this with that it would actually be a pretty badass display i'm not sure if anybody makes that if anybody does don't tell me i don't want her going after one i don't want to think about how much that would be because she'll want it 
as much as she wanted this, she'll want that. And the Kita Hamanoptera was $24.99 with $14.90 shipping. And it, I ordered it the same day I ordered the Rock Biter. And like I said, it got here really quick. And the final piece from Arsenal Models, I wound up getting... I'm going to have to readjust the camera because this thing's actually really tall. But I'll bring all the parts and pieces out. And, well, this will just say it all. Skelligro. That's right. It's the Skele bottle of Skelligro from the film Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I thought, now when I got this in the mail uh, this morning, excuse me, yesterday morning, um, I couldn't figure out why the box that came in was so heavy, and then I finally found out why when Virginia opened it. This thing is solid cast. It is not hollow in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it has some air bubbles, but you're never going to see those. Plus, it needs some sanding with all the seam lines. Uh, and the seam lines aren't really that bad. They kind of disguise really well going through the, uh, the sternum and turn this around. Hides really nicely up the side of the uh, the spinal column. And you can see the word Skelligro in the neck of the bottle. And we've already been talking about how to put the uh, the cork in there. And I've already come up with uh, the idea to put uh, neodymium magnets in both the, uh, the bottle as well as the cork to uh, keep it in there. And you actually pull it off and... You know, have your friends freak out when they see it. And then his two arms will attach to the side just like so. And then the hands will actually attach to the edges of the bottle. And then from there you get the metallic, sorry for the camera shake, metallic sticker. It'll go around the neck. And then... The one thing I didn't know, this is actually a water slide decal that will go around the bottom. And the Skelligro bottle was $49.99 with $23 shipping. And it's fairly, fairly good size. I think it's well over a foot. Oh, wow. Probably about 12 and a quarter inches in height overall. Not too bad. But if you drop it on your foot, you're definitely going to know because it will hurt. Because <laughs> it is solid. So there we have it. Check out Arsenal Models. Uh, they do have a website, but most of the stuff that they do is on eBay um, under Cool Models, if I remember correctly. If you look up Cool Models on eBay, they should come up. Check them out. They got a lot of great stuff, about four pages worth of uh, movie props, uh, all resin that you have to uh, sand and finish and paint for yourself. And... I'm sure she's going to have a lot of fun doing the Skeller Girl bottle and painting the Rock Biter. I have no doubt. So that is it for this episode of the Figure Kit Garage. I'll be doing video number two here very shortly. If I don't get these posted tonight, I will get them posted sometime tomorrow afternoon. But until then, everybody enjoy what, what uh, is left of WantaFest. Best of luck to all the contest uh, contest entries, and all the people that built the amazing kits that were seen online. Keep building. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Oh, definitely one other thing I want to bring up before I go. Uh, definitely to uh, Mr. David Diaz, as well as Paul Gill, Mark Van Tyne, and Paul Gill's family. I want to say it's great hearing that you guys are starting to get past your COVID-19 battle. It really is. Great to see that you guys are still keeping busy, casting, selling, building, painting, keeping yourselves occupied, and trying like hell to fight this damn virus. So, thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video. Build a kit.